Call of Duty Activision for once in their life did something good the other day within their update. They got rid of visual recoil. We made a video on that yesterday. But of course, like many of you people as well have experienced, when something good happens in Call of Duty, it does not last long before it gets fucked up by something else. Of course, I'm talking about the anti-cheats, the reporting system as a whole, a problem we have had for many, many years. This reporting system is abused by terrible ass players, people that have no idea what a cheater looks like, they then mass report somebody that is just simply better than them and get them shadow banned. And what is even crazier to me is that when I made videos talk about how I was shadow banned, which is just where you're put into limited matchmaking, Activision reviews your account or does whatever process they have. When I was shadow banned six times and released every single time, still people out there think that that means you are cheating because they were never shadow banned. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I think you guys can agree with this. If you do, make sure you hit that fucking like button. The Call of Duty community is dumb as fuck. But like I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, this new update with the no visual recoil taking that away making the guns look absolutely broken has now exposed the shadow ban system as well players are now getting mass reported because other people that have no idea what a cheater looks like they don't understand that there was probably even an update are mass reporting these people because they see very little recoil with broken ass guns and think these people are using Cronus Zens, aimbots, whatever you want to call it, that's what happens. And just like Grandpa Hacks tweeted out two days ago, he said, following the latest recoil update, a new wave of shadow bans is expected to roll out with an increased likelihood of reports being filed against players who may not yet be accustomed to the changes in weapon mechanics, potentially leading to confusion or false accusations. Now, I want to break this down for you guys. I want to analyze this system, okay? The shadow ban system. At first, sounds like a phenomenal idea. I'm not going to lie. It sounds like a phenomenal idea. If somebody brought that to me, if I was the CEO at the first glance, I'd be like, oh my God, that is very smart. Let's put it in. If someone is probably mass reported, it probably means they're cheating. Then we'll put them in a limited matchmaking system and then we will review it from there. It sounds very smart. It sounds like a very good idea, but... After last year and now going on to this year, obviously, it's not the best situation. More and more legit players are being shadow banned than actual cheaters. We see this because there are still blatant hackers, not even a doubt, using walls, aimbot, whatever you want to call it, anything under the sun in the top 215 ranked play, in the iridescent ranked play, crimson, all of that. Oh, they're on us now, bro. We did. I, I think our teammate might have pissed them off. Oh my god, oh, bro. My. Yo, hey, Activision, man. You know, you could ban the guy right play. now. He's literally number one on the leaderboard. Just blatantly aim locked on me. You can do it. You have the power. You don't need no fucking efficacy AI systems to check this one out. You need a theater system for this? Did you just see that? He's literally number one on the leaderboard, bro. Just give me the red button, I'll fucking do it. Those cheaters aren't getting shadow banned, they're not getting temporarily banned, they're not even getting perma banned. No matter how many times people are reporting them, I'm telling you, people in rank play are reporting the fuck out of these guys. Nothing's happening to them. But legit players, people that are good, that have a really good gameplay in 10v10, of course, are the ones that are going to be put in the system because nobody knows what a cheater looks like. I want you guys to look at this clip. All you people out there that love to report people because you always think people are cheating, I want you to watch this gameplay right here. It's about 52 seconds long of a shadow banned lobby. I got this gameplay from Godric. He basically says, I can't find a Warzone lobby while shadowed, but it did allow me to play multiplayer. These lobbies are filled with regular players that aren't cheating and none of them are suspect nor sweaty. What is going on? Watch this clip. See if anybody is cheating in this gameplay and I'll be right back. Check it out. Our point is secure. EKIA. Shops here. Hard point is to get out. You're gonna let a bunch of company assholes beat you. Fight back, blind. Got 
Hostile counter UAV established above. So from what I was watching, obviously the guy playing it, Godric, is a nasty sweat on mouse and keyboard. Man, that guy has some good movement. He's got some flicks, let me tell you. But watching those enemies, watching those players in that game, nobody's fucking cheating. Nobody, and I mean nobody in that clip, in that gameplay, was even close to being some type of cheater. They all look like average players playing 10v10, 6v6, hardpoint. I don't even know. But I'm telling you right now, as somebody that plays rank play and knows what a fucking cheater looks like, almost to iridescent right now, and I'm telling you, the cheaters are running wild. Nobody in that lobby is even close to being a fucking cheater. Do you guys see the problem? Do you see the issue? These guys in that lobby probably had one or two good matches in the lobbies they were put in, with the SBMM going up, down, sideways, twist around like a fucking roller coaster. They probably had a few good gameplays, but were mass reported by the enemy team and then thrown into a shadow ban system. Do we not see the problem yet? Do we not see the problem with this clip I'm about to show you with Dashy? I showed this clip yesterday in my video, and people think that this guy right here, a Call of Duty pro, okay? I know some people don't like that term. But somebody that is literally in tournaments, plays on LAN, plays online with referees watching their every single move, people literally think that this guy is cheating. I'm sorry, this is a private match. It's the aims. It's not hard after the fucking visual recoil, even before the visual recoil update, to control this gun's recoil. I don't understand why it's so hard for the Call of Duty community and for Activision to understand that this system is obviously not working because we as a community have no idea what a fucking cheater is and Activision is relying on us with this system to find cheaters. It's not working. It's not going to work because now with how bad the anti-cheat system actually is, Nobody knows what a cheater looks like, nobody trusts anybody, anytime you have a good clip, anytime that you're abusing the fuck out of aim assist which is strong as ever living hell, anytime you do any of that, somebody, somewhere, whether it's in the comment section, whether they're gonna message you on Twitter, whatever it is, are gonna think that you're cheating and they're gonna mass report the fuck out of you. And now you have to deal with shadow ban lobbies. It takes forever to find a game because you're in a limited matchmaking system. You get into a game, you're either playing with blatant hackers, which for some reason, I don't even know how they're still shadow banned. They should be permanently banned on the fucking spot. You're either playing with them or you're playing in normal lobbies with terrible ass players who somehow got shadow banned. But overall, like I was saying, it's a waste of time to even play because it takes forever to find a game. In one hour, you probably only play two or three matches. It's a total joke. The reporting system, the anti-cheat in the game all needs to be taken out and they need to take these billions of dollars that they have and invest it into something that actually works. Let me show you guys right now. I'm going to do it live. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Right. Fucking thing sucks! I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to control this recoil in this game, okay? I'm gonna put the aims on right now and I'm gonna go into a firing range and I'm gonna show you guys the recoil. Alright, this is the recoil. I'm not holding down the right stick. I'm not doing any of that. I'm laying the gun shoot and I'm learning the recoil pattern, alright? You see that? See how the gun is going up? It's very simple stuff right here. This is Call of Duty 101. Okay, I'm going to let that happen, and now we're going to just learn how to control it. We're going to pull down on the right analog. I'm going to show you guys how broken this gun is and how easy it is to learn a recoil pattern. Here it is. Look at this. You guys see how easy that is? You guys understand that this game is not hard. Learning how to control a gun's recoil in Call of Duty Black Ops 6, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, doesn't matter what game, is not hard. Just because somebody has little to no recoil, especially after the update, does not mean they're cheating. I am talking to all of you in the Call of Duty community. It is time to wake up. It is time to analyze. Go to theater mode if you have to and watch them a little longer and see. Okay, let me just break it down. Before I report this guy, is this guy cheating? But again, who is to blame for all this bullshit? Activision. I want to make sure I make that very clear. They are to blame for everything because of how bad the anti-cheat system is. Nobody can trust anybody. We can't trust Activision. Can't trust the anti-cheat. We can't trust the Call of Duty community because we have a lot of losers in there as well who love to cheat in a fucking video game because their testosterone levels are low as fuck. We can't trust anybody anymore. So Activision is a fucking blame for that. 
But holy hell is this system bad. It is broken. I am blessed. I have not been shadow banned in a long, long time. Thank God. Maybe Activision whitelisted me. Probably not. But maybe they did. But I am just waiting for that day to happen. And when it happens, boy, am I going to be upset. So hopefully, hopefully, it doesn't happen. Because I feel like keeping my blood pressure down, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think seriously about that clip. Are shadow ban lobbies all cheaters? Are they just hiding? Are they trying to hide away their cheats so everybody can't see that they're cheating? Or are they just average players who just somehow got mass reported and are now dealing with the consequences of Activision's dog shit ass policies? I would love to know what you guys think. Make sure you guys comment below. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Other than that, man, I hope you guys have an amazing day. It's cold as absolute fuck in Chicago. Stay warm, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm out. Peace!